five points, the second leading scorer on the team. Of course, they're gonna be without senior last year, Cairo Rivera leading scorer, but once again, some quality scoring coming from Cameron Eastside. Fellas, I, I, I think we're gonna see this one get well up and away. The three ball there, and the full court press starting early for Camden Eastside. Elizabeth controls it. Three ball from the wing. That one's good. Quick answer for Elizabeth. That's Cam McRae knocking down the triple. You see the confidence from McRae to just answer back. Didn't even hesitate. Gets up into the air, splashing it home to tie things up. Inside the layup's good and the foul. And we said this one was going to be fast paced back and forth. And you know, it's really living up to it already in the first minute and a half. I, I'm telling you, man, if you look at the records from last year and on paper, this seems looking pretty evenly matched. Cameron, uh, Camden Eastside, 16 and five last year. Elizabeth, 15 and eight. I mean, I, I don't know if you get more even than that, fellas. It, I mean, in Elizabeth, they are being led by one of the best head coaches to ever be in New Jersey, Coach Caligio, who has a great record, a great resume. I mean, and the teams just keep on getting better and better and better with him at the helm. For sure, and how about that nine and one conference record last year? I mean, he's been known to get it done, been a staple uh, for the past couple of years. Philip Caligio getting things done, but no slouch on the other side for sure with Kenny Event. Uh, Two quality coaches gonna be going at it as the season comes later on. Of course, they can't be here yeah. today with it being fall ball, but you know that both of these squads got two quality guys at the helm. And speaking at the helm. Oh, oh the up and under lay, and that is pretty. Little peanut butter with that jelly. Wow. <laughs> oh man, he was up in the air. He could have made the sandwich. Yeah. Nice job by McCray. Going the other way now. Camden East side trying to answer. Oh, what a rejection, and they'll call a foul. That looked clean from where we're sitting. Woo! Yeah, see, I saved it. I saved it. You knew what was coming out of my mouth. I was waiting for it. I was waiting to say <laughs> it, but I couldn't because I knew there was gonna be, I knew it was a foul. I'd like to see the replay on that one, man. Our angle here looked to be all ball, but there's another side to it that we're missing. But still, a nice job by Eastside to adjust there and get to the foul line. That could have been a block. Yeah. First free throw good for Jahan Green. Knocks down the second one as well. So he makes a count at the line. Eight to seven, Camden East side in front. 16 minutes to play in this first half. Oh, going <laughs> vertical and slamming it home. My goodness. Oh, wow. you got to be kidding me oh. on that one. The jab step to set it up, and then the big fella coming down the runway like a Mack truck, sending it home. Good Lord. Wow. Woo. On the other end, layup no good. Here comes Elizabeth in transition. That one tipped away. Camden Eastside gets it back. Running the break now. Contact swatted away. Get that weak stuff out of here. Elizabeth on the break. Slow it up. They'll reset it. 15 20 to play. 9 to 8 lead. Three ball from the corner. No good. Too much space for that one. Luckily, Camden Eastside, he missed it. And oh! Up and under layup, no good. Put back, also won't go. Thought we were gonna see the little John Wall reverse on that one. But a foul, and there's free throws upcoming. First one on the way, no good though. Too strong. We're talking about this one picking up early, getting off fast, and it's. Definitely living up to the hype so far to start. Second free throw goes. 
Yeah, this, I mean, you could tell what kind of game this is going to be. And we are not going to be lacking action. Yeah, fellas, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I can legitimately see this one getting well above 40 the way that they're playing. That one too strong, rebounded by Camden East side. Three ball from the corner. That one won't go off the back iron. Into the lane, McRae, no. Out of bounds. Back to Camden East side. That's a heads up play, I believe, by Green to not touch that ball. Surely he was out of bounds. Great awareness. He thought about it for a second, but quickly pulling the hand back, knowing that they could use the possession to take the lead. 14 minutes to play. We're all square at nine. And that one is good. No team letting up right now. They are straight snipers driving to the rim. Great ball movement from both sides. Amazing basketball. It's just so fast. Drive and kick. They'll reset things. Corner three ball. Book it. Just the chemistry of this team right now on both sides. London Carson. He's the guy to watch out for. Knocks down the three ball there. Fellas, I'll tell you, right now, uh, Look at Elizabeth, they're, they're looking like a, uh, a combo of Pepsi and Mentos, just <laughs> explosion coming whenever they're on offense. And the defense blistering on the other side as well. Good fight inside, ripped away by Christopher Clark from the corner, three ball too strong. And now a we'll whistle, and Camden Eastside will get to slow things down here. Not much has been slow in this game though. Absolutely not, fellas. And we're sitting tied at 12. I mean, these teams, like a prize fight, just going punch for punch. <laughs> 12 all, 12 and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Elbow pull up, left short. Carson the board. Thought he had the space, should have drove that in there for the layup. Nice defense here for Camden East side. Elizabeth will reset things. Clark, jab stepping. Floater off glass, no good, out of bounds. Back to Camden East side. Right now, everybody's just stuck at 12. Having trouble breaking the tie real quick. And it's really been the defense on both sides. I mean, both these teams, I mean, picking it up on the offense is looking smooth, but the defense is looking even better. Working baseline, stepped on the line, out of bounds, back to Elizabeth. So much athleticism out there on the floor. Yeah, I'm just trying to comprehend. Like, I'm just sitting here right now trying to just understand. I'm still on that dunk when he just dove <laughs> baseline and just <laughs> took off. It's like he did not have much space in the world but just took off. I mean, what they are feeding these young men nowadays is amazing. I want some of that. Elizabeth gets the lead back, 14 to 12 now. handoff working baseline back down fall away counted and the foul body control just absolutely next level on that one fellas and with the touch count it Jahan Green trying to build off a strong junior season looking smooth so far gets it back even and trying to take the lead back Green doing a nice job on offense but no for his defense, led the team last year in rebounding and steals, fellas. Yeah, they seem poised to have a solid year. Also believe he was third on scoring for this team. Oh, he's been known to get it done all over the court. Green came up with a loose ball. 
but Elizabeth gets it back. Working with the right hand scoop shot, no good. Kareem Anthony headed to the line for the Minutemen. Yeah, Kareem Anthony right there, just so fast in the way that he just dribbled the ball down the court. I mean, it looked like it was going to go in. It was going to be an and one from here, but just a little too strong going up. He's going to be a sight to see these next four years to come. Sure, and how about the little hesitation to get that layup off? We're giving flashes of Cole Anthony on that one. <laughs> First free throw, no good. Trying to draw back even here. Second one goes. So 15 all with 9.30 to go in the first half. And guys, we've talked about that quick pace. Both of these teams, they don't look like it's October. Uh, no, I'll tell you right now, the teams actually look like they've been playing all summer long. It looks like they haven't missed a beat. As we said, both of them having some solid seasons uh, last year. And, and they're looking... They picked up right where they left off and looking to expand uh, for Elizabeth on that 15 wins and Camden Eastside on those 16 wins. Uh, the way that they're playing right now, these teams both could be looking at 20 wins this season plus. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Camden Eastside, they only lost two of their players who were seniors, so you have most of their core returning. And over there on Elizabeth's side, five seniors who are gone. And, you know, they still kind of have their full core core intact, but, you know, if you're bringing in freshman like Kareem Anthony Jr., who's just playing out of this world super fast, it's going to be pretty quick to kind of find the connection and the team chemistry on the court. Camden Eastside has that out of the timeout. Long three ball off the mark. Back to the Minutemen. But that one went out, and Camden Eastside will get it back. Sixteen to fifteen. Nine minutes to play in the first half. We got twenty more in the second half, and then we'll keep moving along. Next game: Eagle Academy and Saint Benedict's. That one blocked inside. The layup's good, but a jump ball before will wipe off the two points. Arrow stays with Camden Eastside. Fellas, you already know. I try not to be biased uh, on these calls, but. Uh, St. Benedict's going to have to step up to the plate and defend home turf, repping New Jersey in this one. You can't have a New York squad coming into Jersey and getting a win. I don't care if it's fall ball, all right? You got to protect home at all times. Driving right, poked away. Nice job defensively. On the break, Tan McCray pull up. Short. Fight for the rebound. I'll tell you, I like the confidence from McCray to pull it, but he had space. I think he's got to attack the rim in that situation. We know that he's got the vision, he's got the touch. Surely has the confidence. Just not the best decision for me, man. A step baseline in the layup's good. Cam McCray, that's a tough finish. And was, you see why. Yeah, I was about to say when he was coming down, I could see why he took the jumper because he, it was a one-on-two man right there but he could have easily put his head down, got to the rim and got fouled. Didn't work out that way, took the jumper, but gets rewarded by driving on two players as well, getting the layup to fall. McCray kicks it out. That's a long three ball, short for Jaden Johnson. The Tigers have it on the break. Euro stepping, blocked away, the double swat. Camden Eastside still has it. Layup no good, but a foul, and I believe that was John Green, and he'll head to the line. How about the block before the foul, though? I mean, you could have took someone's head off with power like that. Yeah, just the force and the defensive awareness that both teams are playing with. It's not even, you can't even say one team has it over the other right now. They're both playing equally as good. Jahan Green received an offer in July from Wilmington University. That's his first, and I would imagine more to come in his senior season with the way he's looked so far today. That ball's loose. Camden Eastside has it back. Driving right, blocked away. London Carson with the block. I'll tell you what, the Minutemen do not allow anything easy. 
way that they're looking to start the fast break, too. I mean, looking like true Minutemen back in the Revolutionary War. The way that they're able to set up the offense this quick. The way you come up with these chances <laughs> are amazing. Nice move to split the D. The layup won't go, but a second chance. And Kareem Anthony goes vertical to put it in. Well, gentlemen, as you guys are both uh, very uh, true professionals when it comes to the play-by-play, -play, I think I found my home in color commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the best in the business yeah. in the state, fellas. I truly appreciate you being here today <laughs> with us. You know, but I, I do must say, if I can't give myself some flowers, I really do this. <laughs> 6.15 to go, 20 to 16 lead, and I'm very impressed with the way that Elizabeth has looked to start this one, John. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're playing amazing. They're doing it on both ends of the floor. Their defense is amazing, and their offense is really flowing. Like we said, for, lo for losing five seniors coming in, bringing in that core group, they're really moving the ball well and defensively. I mean, they are everywhere. I, 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 probably about, like, six rejects in this game so far, and it's only the first half. Sure. So, fellas, I got good news, I got bad news. Which one you want first? Mm. Give us the bad news. The bad news is that at halftime, I will not be on the broadcast. Uh, the good news is I get to go interact with the crowd and get us some extra content footage. Going to go hear from the people, some players to look out for, what they're feeling on it. So the bad news is, is that you guys are going to be without me for a little And uh, I know you guys are heartbroken by that. <laughs> but the good news is, is that the crowd gets to talk to me, and I'm sure they're going to love that. <laughs> You're or not. A, you're, we'll a, you're a character. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, it is 11 a.m. in the morning, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maz is on one. Well, you know, I had the breakfast of champions this morning after only getting about four hours of sleep. A good old Taylor ham, egg, and cheese. That's Taylor ham, egg, and cheese, and a good old monster sugar-free to wake me up. Siraj Adela putting the clamps on, and it's a five-second violation. Speaking of waking up, how about the defensive clamps coming? Yes, sir. Elizabeth says, we're going to get out on that break. We're holding on to a four-point lead right now, but no problem. We're going to make this turnover and start kicking it up to the next notch. Yes, sir. <laughs> 20 to 16, five and a half minutes to go. Pull up three ball, left short. Saved back in by London Carson, and it was touched on the way out. So it'll stay with the Minutemen. I mean, that was in front of me, and I didn't even see him touch it for real, but I mean. <laughs> How about a little 3D action for the crowd, though? Yeah. Didn't even need your, uh, your blue and red goggles for that one. Five minutes to go in the first half. Carson from the corner. That one's good. Call the Army, call the Marines. We got a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Fast break now up ahead. Well, go oh, Carson going vertical to put back the two. Not only can he shoot it from the outside, but his presence inside as well is scary. And right back a quick answer. So stopping the run there, 25 to 18, Elizabeth leads it. Fellas, I'm getting greedy now. I'm disappointed he didn't jam that one back. Good Lord, coming back again, no problem. They're sniping at the sniping. Elizabeth red hot right now. Ball on the floor. Green from the corner. Too strong. Offensive rebound, that one goes. A much needed answer there from Camden Eastside. This one running away from them. We're cutting it back down to eight. Nice job. Yeah, that timeout was probably all they needed to just get rejuvenated and you know, you can really see the energy picking up right now for Elizabeth. That one won't go, whistle stops play. So Camden East side gets it back now. There's another whistle, 28 to 20. Elizabeth leading Camden East side, 320 to play in the first half of this one. Got a good one on deck, Eagle Academy and St. Benedict's coming up next. Battle of the bacon, egg and cheese <laughs> versus the Taylor egg and cheese, am I right? There's something else. You already know. 
Jack, I know your dad is personally at home right now listening to this and going, I don't understand how my son works with this kid anymore. <laughs> uh, Shout out Papa Bartek. <laughs> Three minutes to play in the first half. Carson had it blocked away. Once again, Jahan Green making an impact. The green out in the, uh, the red light stop there. No green lights here. As he sends that one back. And Carson working off the inbound. Carson has it back, 2.30 to play. Elizabeth, for probably the first time all day, slowing things down, and they get a good one off of it. It's Carson, but off the back rim, another offensive rebound. Floater in the lane, no, McCray taps it back up and in. This kid is just something else, man. That, that's a relentless attack right there from Elizabeth. I mean, in the hops, he didn't even get yeah. the... He had to run the start on the initial shot attempt with the put back. I, I mean, he just floated up into the air and now coming back with it. Yes, sir! Sands at home, showing off the hops. Cam McRae. Wow. Man, Elizabeth, like a bunch of hot tamales right now. This team is spicy. <laughs> that one out of bounds. Back to Elizabeth. It is all Minutemen right now. Tell you right now, like a Louisiana grandmother, they got all the recipe for success, and they're cooking up a hot pot of gumbo right now, yeah. man. I mean, they are just doing whatever they want. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man! A I minute twenty to go. The three ball left short. Jahan Green with the board. I think I might just come to Monster State and plug headphones into my ears and just listen to match ball games. I missed this tie up jump ball. And we'll see who has the arrow. A minute left, and it looks like Elizabeth will get it back. They have just busted open this game right now. Camden Eastside could use the steal here, a much needed basket. Before halftime to cut into this one. Elizabeth looking to add to a 12 point lead. Carson inside. Trying to dish it, it was taken away. Full court pressure. Great trap right there. Uh, Elizabeth. Oh, almost a takeaway at the oh. rim, block away. Get that weak stuff out of here. Woo. Christopher Clark with the rejection. 27 seconds to go. I'll tell you right now, with a block like that, an uh, offensive player must have said something about his mama, man. <laughs> Good God, you saw that. Just when Eastside looked like they were about to start cooking themselves. A big block coming down low from the big fella. What authority. 24 seconds left. Looks like Camden Eastside might be content to hang on for the last one. Inside, blocked, but able to get it up on the rim. And a whistle coming. Free throws next. 13 seconds to play here in the first half. I'll tell you, man, I, I love the decision, though. I, I mean, to get aggressive in this one, you're looking at a 12-point deficit. Short time on the board. You, you got to get some points back here. Make it a 10-point game. Much more manageable. Yeah. That first one's good. And you see right now that, I mean, every time you go down low, they're going for the block. Maybe if you pivot your body into a different way as you're going up, you can get those foul calls. So kudos to east side right now. That one's good. Cuts the lead to 10. Subs coming on. Let's see what Elizabeth has up their sleeve. 10 seconds to play. Driving left with a step. No, Carson gets the board. Four seconds left. Put back won't go. Down to one, the half court heave. No, but a foul. Oh, not a terribly smart play there. The whistle is going to result in free throws for Camden Eastside. There's going to be three free throws. Absolutely behind the three-point line, back at half court. As you saw, the Eastside heave coming through, but just way too much contact. Absolutely the right call. And uh, much needed for Eastside, too. Now, a bit of a momentum killer for Elizabeth, although they're still going to have the lead going in, into half. But with a chance here 
for Camden Eastside to gain back three points. Yeah, and if there was no foul there, there was almost no chance at that half court heave going in. First free throw, no good. This is untimed free throws, so this will be the end of the half one way or another. Oh, Second no. one won't go. Yeah, you have to capitalize off of these free throws right here. Missed the first two. He's rushing right now. Take yeah. a breath, young fella. It's okay. There's no time. Just, just breathe a little bit. Go through the full formation. Oh, no. Yeah, that's going into halftime. You kind of wanted to leave with that momentum of, you know, cutting the lead down a bit to at least seven, but now you're going to halftime with a 10-point lead against an Elizabeth squad who is just not letting up. So with that being said, Elizabeth, great first half, 32 points oh, in yeah. the first half. This is not devoid of action. We're going to step aside for a second. We've got an interview coming up here on All Abilities Live. Jack Bartek, Brandon Marazzo, John Edmond. We'll be right back. The great coach Mel Han. Coach, talk about this event going on today. Oh man, this is a wonderful event. Justin is doing a great job in getting all these young guys together and doing a wonderful job putting it together and having everyone come out and represent for the you know for the county. This is wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. Absolutely, we got some quality basketball being played uh, here to this afternoon and all throughout the day. Even started off in the morning, but well, you got some quality players that have come through Roselle Catholic, and you've been here eight years, man. We know you've seen a lot of the quality talent. We got to know, man, who's the number one player in your opinion that's come through here? Well, I'm going to say it like this, right? I don't say number one player. I just say who's doing the best right now in the league, and right now Nazi Reed is doing wonderfully. We are, we're, we're definitely proud of him. He's, he's represented us to the fullest, and then we've had a couple that have done well. You know, Isaiah Briscoe was one of the best to ever do it. Um, we got um, Nathaniel Pierre-Louis, who's out there in California doing his thing. We got Kobe Rogers that's out at Wichita State. He's about to do his thing. He's probably going to be the number one scorer in the year this year, you know, in, in the country. Like, for real. Like, he's about to get to it, right? We, we got to see some numbers come from. We got Ethio Horton out in Texas shooting the ball. Um, we got some kids doing their things. We're really impressed to see what, um, what McKenzie does out. We got my man Sim out of St. John's doing his thing. So we got some players, dog. We got some guys here to do our thing. Uh, you guys got some true dogs, and, and it's a heck of a community that's being built here. But you mentioned uh, Briscoe, and of course, a missing member of the community now, sadly, with his father passing. Can you just talk about what he meant to this community and uh, the mark that he's made? Oh, man. George, George was everything for us. George did everything. George is the one that actually kind of put things in place for me to be able to be here the way I am. And he made it clear that I was a trainer that I was. So he would make sure everybody would have to come and see me before they left the gym. And he would make it a point. I normally worked with the, you know, the, the higher end players that came in with us and get them on, t on tap to what we needed them to do. Um, but um, George made it possible for me. You know, he's an he's a integral part of this place and we miss him and love him to death. And, uh, Coach, just one more question for you here. We know that you deal with, like, training a bit. Uh, well, your primary thing with training, you know. What would you say is the number one key for development for kids at such this young age they want to take things to the next level? The recovery aspect is the most important thing. If you don't know what to do, then you're not going to be able to perform on a high level. So the actual recovery and understanding what's going to be required to, to be able to maintain the body so you can perform at a high level. So many of them just don't know it. Icing, ice bath, you know what I'm saying? Cryo, like those things are so important. And the sooner you understand it and buy into it, sky's the limit. It's all about the recovery, man, but right now, it's all about the hoops being played. Jack, John, back to you fellas. Another quality interview from All Abilities Live. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank y'all, appreciate you, oh, man. man. Back here at Roselle Catholic. Nice job by Brandon over there on the interview. And we appreciate Coach Hand giving us some time. Jack Bartek, John Edmond, Brandon Marazzo will be joining us back here in a second. And at the Lions, then Elizabeth with a 32 to 22 lead at the moment over Camden Eastside. And John, a good start in that first half for Elizabeth. What were your main takeaways? 
Yeah, Elizabeth just really looks like a well-polished team. The way that they're sharing the ball, the chemistry of the team, on the defensive end as well, they're getting active. I believe they had probably, if I was counting correct, about seven to eight blocks early on, earlier on in the first half. This is amazing showcasing, and you know, they're driving inside, getting timely baskets. Great, great team to start. It doesn't even seem like they're in fall for real. They're ready for the season. That one poked away out of bounds. It'll go back to Elizabeth. Up next, again, we have Eagle Academy and St. Benedict's Prep. Chitty Wigway, you'll see him in that one. He is special. You're not going to want to miss it. It's a little battle of the bridge action, New York versus New Jersey. I mean, I'm taking Jersey every day. Eagle Academy making the trip from the Bronx to come out and showcase themselves. Corner three ball there is off the mark and back to Camden East Side. 33 to 24, Elizabeth in front. Mm. Yeah, right there, had all the space in the world, just missed it. Completely missed badly on the three-pointer there. But gotta love the spacing from right now, East Side Camden, trying to get a groove. They did miss those three free throws at the end of the, of the first half, which was crucial. Could have cut the lead down to seven for them. But right now, down by nine. And so this, that three ball is good. Nice smooth jumper. Knocking down the triple. 12 point lead. This Camden East Side team involved in a storyline with another team we'll see later in the day, Camden. Both teams had really strong years last year and then their season unceremoniously ended after a fight broke out during their county game and it, they seemed poised for a great finish to their year and it was just a, a tough way to end what was a good season. They were 16 and four up until that point. You thought they would have had a pretty good chance in their section and unfortunately both them and Camden who was a national powerhouse last year they would have waltzed their way pretty much to a state title knocked out of the playoffs so 16 and 4 up until that forfeit in the first round of the playoffs last year and a lot to build on from last season other head coach Kenny event. Sixteen twenty to play as our roaming reporter Brandon Marazzo is scrolling the crowd looking for somebody. That one's good and the foul and one. And Chris Clark going to head to the line. Yeah, just going up strong with that layup right there. The end one opportunity. Great job right now by Elizabeth. Clark at the line. Can't convert the three-point play. Right oh. to the bucket, counted, and the foul. That's a strong take and a chance at a three-point play. Nice take right there. Put his head down, took it all the way to the rim. Those <laughs> two players he scored that on. Amazing, amazing right there from east side. And he completes the end one opportunity. Elizabeth trying to break the press here. 15 minutes to play in the second half. Clark draws the whistle, he'll head to the line. And for Camden Eastside, they are under good direction. Head coach Kenny Event played guard at University of North Carolina Wilmington. Played professional basketball internationally, Argentina, Canada, France. He brought the team to their first state championship since 1985 when they made it back in 2021. That free throw is good for Clark. So Coach Event, obviously some great experience that he brings at the helm. Mm, 
look at them trying to push the pace right now. They see, oh, slip right there, just a little too excited. That ball's loose. Elizabeth trying to get on the break, and they do. Nice tip pass for McCray, and oh. slammed home by Carson. Added to the highlight reel. Carson is just playing out of this world. First of all, the defense from Elizabeth is just continuing the height, and then Carson turned up the Jets, slammed that one home. Amazing. Whoever said humans can, cannot fly never <laughs> saw London Carson play basketball because that was a liftoff. So 13.47 to go here in the half, 42 to 27, and London Carson has been spectacular. Yeah, London Carson, it's like he can honestly do no wrong, able to get his shot whenever he needs it. I mean, to me, I don't know if we can draw this comparison, but if I'm going to draw this comparison to NBA comp, he, he looks to me a little bit like Anthony Edwards. Mm. He can do it all. He can dribble the little in and out dribble, shoot it outside, take it inside, and, you know, he can jump out the gym. Great basketball play right now from Carson. Yeah, and the year certainly did not go the way Elizabeth wanted to last season. They rattled off a bunch of wins in a row, nine straight, heading into their final two playoff games of the year, which were both losses. They lost to Linden, who we'll see later in the semifinal wow. of the Union County Tournament, and fell to Scotch Plains in the first round of the Section 2 Group 4 State final tournament so after a great season they came up short of where they wanted to be in the playoffs and with this group it certainly seems like they're ready to avenge that as London Carson does it again he cannot be stopped London Carson is, I mean we had two games and we had Deer Dak and now we have Carson just you know, doing it all right now, leaving it all out on the floor. And we talked about how it's a fall league, but they look like they're ready for the season. 13 minutes to go now. 44 to 27. Elizabeth well in control. Kind of just like that first game, out of the half, just the domination from one side. That three ball is good. Yeah, east side Camden right now. That's what they have to do. Just find some timely baskets. That's exactly what he just did right there with that three-pointer. Hopefully this can kind of dwindle the storm that they've been having. Now Carson inside. Put wow. back slam. He is doing it all right now for the Minutemen. He's going off, and this is only, wow. Jahan Green with a nice finish the other way. And the crowd is loving the action here that Carson is giving them. And he's going to pull back. Iso ball. Ice it. 101. Gives it up. Pull up three ball. Left short. Oh, just the extra effort right there from Elizabeth. Anthony hitting the ball off. Eastside Camden to regain possession again and great hustle play. Now he's going to get some rest. They're doing it all right now, John. Twelve minutes to go. Lead is 14. Drive and kick. Corner three ball. Left short. Turn around off glass. That one's no good. Up ahead, in transition, that's a nice finish. Yeah, right there, you just can't stop that. The speed and the, the bunnies that he went up with just to finish that was amazing. Carson takes it across. Just such a super smooth game for Carson. Yeah, Carson is, I mean, he's, he looks like he's just been in this position for so long. This season is poised to take the leap. And I can't wait to see how this one finishes off for him as a three doesn't fall, but they're going to get another offensive rebound. Carson in the corner, three ball, no good, but he's fouled. It's like he can do no wrong. And I'll tell you what, we're going to see a ton of players today, a ton of very good players, as it looks like Maz joining us back in the booth here after doing some roaming. 
But I, I don't know that we will see another player today as under-recruited as London Carson because he looks to me like he's got a Division One skill set. Yeah. Well, fellas, I'll tell you, I was just uh, talking with uh, Joe over at uh, uh, Hoop Crew, and uh, I'll tell you right now, I mean, we talk about uh, Carson being one of those in-between kind of guys, but, Jack, I, I think once again you hit the nail right on the head. I, I mean, this kid's got to get some looks. This is, why, this is part of the reason why we're out here, right? We're hoping that, that uh, we could give some more exposure to these young fellas, these quality athletes, because uh, – they just need some exposure, man. The talent's out there. It's a, not everybody always has the best pipeline. It is what it is. We're trying to extend that pipeline. Carson can play, man. No doubt about it. And if you have not looked at him yet and you are a college basketball coach, open your eyes. You're missing out. <laughs> Here comes a fast break for Camden Eastside, the easy two. Got some grit in this east side team. Slowly. Uh, they have not given up. There's no doubt about it. And this Elizabeth team, obviously, tough to hang in with. But they have done just that. Yeah, I was going to say, every time Elizabeth just starts to pull away, east side Camden just comes right back. Yeah, Elizabeth had it up to about 20. They got it back down to 12. But a bucket there makes it a 14-point lead. Tad McCray with a nice finish with the right hand. Inside, that one's blocked, but a foul. And free throws upcoming. Paid for that one, man. I thought he was going to be able to finish it the way that he was weaving through. But takes the contact and will get to the line. Try to make it a 12-point game. John, I know you spoke about this earlier, but Elizabeth, a well-coached group, and yeah. I know you have ties there, and you could see the impact that coach has on this team. Yeah, Coach Colicchio, like I said, just such a great coach. His resume, I believe he's probably the best college coach in New Jersey from my eyes, from what I've seen, from going up in New Jersey, watching him, and just being close enough to watch him. I mean, I spent some two years in Linden, was able to watch what he did over there, defeated, we were talking about it earlier on, a Wall star studded Roselle Catholic team for the championship, and now he's in Elizabeth making that same impact, and bringing great players over there and you can see it right now with Carson how he's just elevating his game ever since he's been here in Elizabeth and it's just such a sight to see Coach Colicchio is just one of the best coaches out there. We surely got some competition for that title John but I'll tell you I'll take it. Green strong Probably, move inside. I mean inside. Me, I'm biased because I grew up you know watching him and seeing what he does he's just so smart in the way he orchestrates his defense and offense and we can see that here on display today, but definitely. Uh, to, to be in the conversation, in that conversation in New Jersey says everything that you need to know. Yeah. And, you know, John, my, my man John here is a savant of basketball. <laughs> so I, I know he knows what he's talking about. But Jahan Green, pretty touch. He's played really well. Got some names running for the title. Yeah. Speaking of names running for a title, John Green really been making it up. A name for himself, and this one. Oh, <laughs> London Carson. That is unfair. Yeah. My goodness. I don't even think my my player can do that. <laughs> oh, my my player misses every time. It's Great. Like he can't even touch green. Great step in an offensive foul drawn by Christopher Clark. Well, there's debates on whether or not the new 2K is broken, oh, but I'll tell broken. you right now, uh, Carson might have just broken this game. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, my, my player averages probably 20 points, and that's off 5 of 25 shooting, 11 turnovers, 3 rebounds, and like 2 assists. That game is definitely broken. You guys are going to end up playing for the Beijing Ducks in year 3. <laughs> Some sweat on the floor here. This Elizabeth team is going to be fun to watch this year, man. Yeah, definitely. We got 6.50 left in this one again. Coming up next, the battle for New York and New Jersey. Eagle Academy making the trip across the Hudson River to come take on St. Benedict. St. Benedict's a team that has been uh, outside of the high school basketball parameters here in New Jersey. They have not been a part of the NJSIAA for a long time, and they are starting to make the transition back but they have been a prep powerhouse the past couple of years. Uh, 
fellas. I, I've got to know this team pretty well over the uh, past couple of weeks playing in that fall ball. I promise you, they got some talent out there. If you don't know, you're about to learn. And uh, I promise you, they're going to make New Jersey proud in this upcoming New York Jersey battle. Yeah. Clark muscling inside, but he's hit with a travel. I was about to say that, you know, I've actually, as surprisingly as it is, as I've never been in this gym, I've actually never got to see St. Benedict's play as well. So this is going to be a first time, and I'm excited. Jahan Green to the bucket with the left hand. He has shown off a nice array of scoring abilities. Some might say he has all abilities scoring-wise. Live. <laughs> Corner three ball won't go. 13-point lead for Elizabeth, 6.04 to play. Jack Bartek, Brandon Marazzo, John Edmond in the broadcast booth. Clark getting it down low. Drive and kick. McCray feeding to Clark for the easy lay-in. That's great offense. Beautiful basketball, beautiful ball movement. I'm telling you, this team is ready to make a huge impact this season. Ooh, tough lay-in. Clark almost swatted that away. Just seeks over the front iron. Fellas, I can't even get a word in right now with the quality of basketball. It's just play after play after play. And the vision from McCray yeah. is just ridiculous. It's down to 11 now. And oh no, they've updated the score. It's 13 now. They missed the bucket for Elizabeth. But still, a turnover forced by Candonese side. They get it back. Green, quick three off the mark. They could have used that one. Under five minutes to play now. Elizabeth in no rush. They are in control in this one, so no reason to go crazy. Driving, a whistle, and a foul. So we'll see who that's going to go against. But, fellas, I'll yeah. tell you right now, um, Green's kind of giving me Michael Kidd, Kidd, Gil, Kidd Gilchrist vibes right now. College I mean, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I said earlier on that Carson kind of reminds me of Anthony Edwards. Right now, as a player comp, he could do it all. Put it between the legs, drive to the basket, jump out of this world, shoot from deep, and play defense as well. I mean, not not even just to talk about him, but on both sides. East side Camden and Elizabeth really came to play the game today. And even though they're down by 13, it, honestly, it doesn't even feel like it because it feels like a back and forth game. And guys, I'm not trying to look ahead. We got to finish this one off first, but coming up we got some stretch of basketball up next eagle academy and saint benedicts followed by camden eastside and roselle catholic what i think is the biggest game of the day camden taking on saint rose at 240 and then to follow a great dessert for that one the patrick school and union catholic the day will close out with montclair immaculate taking on linden monroe taking on Ridgewood and St. Peter's Prep against Newark Tech. That is some slate. Like a Thanksgiving dinner just keeps on giving. We got <laughs> not even a five course. Uh, I lost count on it, but all the <laughs> courses, we hit in the dessert, we have the appetizer, you got the main course, we got a ham and a turkey at the table right now. I mean, how do you want it? 4.30 to play. It's gonna be McCray to throw it in for Elizabeth. Halloween right around the corner. We're seeing all the tricks and the treats in this one. McCray had it blocked away. Put back won't go. Fast break here for Camden East side. No good, but a foul. And free throw is upcoming. That is just always so scary to me. Something we don't talk about a lot is how these players put their bodies up on the line every single time they get on the court, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, soccer. I mean, you're getting hacked, you're getting beat down low, running at full speed, just to put an emphasis on how amazing it is that they're putting their bodies on the line to, you know, play this game. And let's be honest too, 
They're dogs about it. I don't see a single elbow yeah. pad, no knee pad. I mean, like, there's oh. really no equipment. I would have been you know? set up like I was a lacrosse goalie if you see me out there <laughs> on the court. I would have had every single thing on me. I haven't played basketball until I had that terrible game at that Montclair State thing when we were that team. What was it? Peach Bang Monarchs. <laughs> I had an oh, awful man. game to where I missed everything and caused the team to lose. I've not played <laughs> basketball since that day, and I'll never pick up a basketball in my life again. I'll just sit behind the scenes and just, like, help out on the side or call a game or something. But you'll never see me on the court again. Too physical. Yeah, man, I'll tell you right now, if I played in this one, uh, afterward, I'm, first off, I'd be in there for, like, three minutes top before one of my lungs blew out. <laughs> uh, I, I'd have the icy hot on like crazy uh, and just wrapped up in uh, ice packs for the next week as I try to get the swelling down in my... Uh, breath back in the lungs and it's not it's kind of wild because you know we're not too far in age from them but you know we just feel like we're like 35 right now <laughs> well you know what it's the hard life of a broadcaster man you know it's a oh. lot of traveling <laughs> oh London Carson you gotta be kidding me and that a lot a of lucky cheat breaks code. that is ridiculous for the love of God I, whoever's out there listen I know some of you D1 programs you need some players right? you act like you got the guy you ain't got the guy all right <laughs> this could be the guy for the love of God all right, like take a chance. What are we doing? Wow, that was a silly move by London Carson. I mean, good God. Kid's got a bag. 2.57 to go. I'm talking Louis 14 Gucci. 14 point game. He got a bag. Some sweat on the floor. Want to keep all these guys safe. Can't have any slippage out there. But I was saying, the, the hard life of broadcasting, man, I don't know about you. I mean, like, we don't, we don't get to train like these guys, you know. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. I'm on the fatter side of life these days, you know. <laughs> so uh, just get away from oh, you. Man. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are clearly man. taking good, good, good care of yourself. Jackie's on the salad <laughs> diet these days. <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. You know, John, I see you on the keto. Good job. <laughs> I mean, I just started about two to three weeks ago yeah, when you did. the team and I went down to Vegas. That but three I ball's mean, good for Jalen Long. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to get my body right. I want to look good. want to look like I play basketball, even though I don't really play it. But, ah, uh, man, you, you, you are, you're, you're special, Maz. You're special. Oh, uh, you want to talk about special? Oh, McRae, that's gorgeous. The finger roll up and over the front rim, and the lead is back to 13. Uh, fellas, I, I know I missed a little bit. Somebody fill me in on McCray here. Any offers yet? Uh, I think he is another one of those guys that is under-recruited. Some coach has got to come and take a look at this Elizabeth group. They can play. Drive and kick, 2.03 to go. Down low, oh my. It was almost blocked, but the layup goes. Pressure here for Camden East side, trying to get back in it. 11 point game, Jahan Green comes away with it and he's fouled. Minute and a half left. This one all but over. Long. Oh, nice finish from Jalen Long. Wow. I'll tell you what, he has been impressive in this second half, especially for Camden Eastside. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll tell you right now. I mean, Long has been absolutely fearless attacking the rim. Doesn't matter what the height he's given up. And he's finishing as many different ways as there is away from uh, next Saturday. Long, once again, this time, can't get it up and over the rim. Yeah, that is. Green with the fall away, no good. Nice rebound by Clark. You local celebrity down here, John. Nah, uh, nah, I don't like to say that. That's my cousin. <laughs> That's all right, man. My man's so popular, he saw the headset, he said, I still gotta say what's up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
this game has just been amazing. I haven't seen basketball, like I said, high school basketball in a while. And coming here is my first time. And like since my brother graduated and seeing this put together today, this is. So, John, I'm going to need you to stop being humble right now, all right? The reason why you haven't been around high school basketball is because you're working for the Nets, you're working for the Liberty, you're around the professionals. But, man, what is it like to be back here in the community and seeing this level of ball? And, and these might not be – they're names that are on the come up. It might not be the biggest household name like, a, you know, a Kevin Durant or, or what have you. But what's it like seeing these players for you, man? I mean, it's amazing to see that basketball is literally – in New Jersey, it's the heartbeat of New Jersey in sports. And, I mean, it's just going to keep on getting better and better in the effort that the coaches put in the coaching players like this and teams like this. It makes you love every bit of it. Nice feet up ahead. Oh, oh London Carson. Jesus Christ. Oh, he pinned it to the backboard. He is doing it all for the Minutemen in this one. That was unruly. Oh, man. Mama. Say, Mary and Joseph, you gotta be kidding me, oh. man! Just snatch that one, dude! You gotta be! Oh my God! Oh my God! I thought they already put the two points up on the scoreboard. That thing was in, oh. and he oh said, "No, no, no!" And more importantly, he hit that before it hit the backboard, before it hit the Ooh. rim. Shot clearly was still on its way up. I mean, dude! I mean, we, we talked about the offense, but the defense. I mean, for the love of God, somebody! Please get over to Elizabeth, for the love of God. Uh, I'll tell you what, some coach is going to get very lucky with him. Yeah, I just need to know what they're feeding these players Yo. nowadays because this just makes no sense to me. He's doing this in fall ball. What is this yeah. kid going to do come regular season? What is this kid going to do come playoffs? I mean, come on. Yeah. I feel like we're just touching the surface right now. I, I mean, I'm sure he's given, uh, you know, a solid effort, at, but you almost kind of just think, what if this is only him at 80%? Yeah, I, I, I was just about to say, usually when you're playing fall ball, you're just trying to get it figured out, you know, get some shots and some reps in. But they're playing with their whole heart and playing at full speed. This is amazing to see right now. Down to 35 seconds to go. If we're able to, I'm sure we're going to get a conversation here with London Carson who finishes another lay in there. He has been spectacular. That one won't go. Down to 20 seconds left. Whistle and a foul. So this one all but over, and Elizabeth really impressed in this one. You've got to give Camden Eastside credit for hanging in all game long. Still only a 12-point game, but Elizabeth just too much to handle. Yeah, I mean, East Side, Camden East Side, they have came here and they fought hard. And, you know, look at the score right now. It doesn't even tell you the story of the game. It looks like it's been a back-and-forth game the whole time, but Elizabeth just has way too much right now, and Carson leading the helm, he's just a problem. Man, I'll tell you right now, if there's one thing that we learned from this game, uh, there's still quality talent that the world still needs to know about uh, on both sides. I'm talking about long. Uh -oh. I'm talking about green for Camden East Side, but you see it right there. London, Carson, McCray for Elizabeth. I mean, there is ballers all over the place. You just got to go and find them, man. Playing through the final whistle, too. Look at green and Clark getting on the floor. You got to love it. We're in October, and these guys are playing like it's a state championship. That is great. I mean, basketball needs New Jersey. We say it all the time. Some of the best come from out of Jersey. Well, man, I'll tell you right now. I said it once, I'll say it again. You, you, you're looking for top-notch football, all right? New Jersey top five in the yep. nation. Yep. You're looking for top-notch basketball. I'll put us up there against anybody. Yep. New York, what, California, what have you. I don't care. New Jersey players are legit the best in the nation. All right, sue me if you want to, but I made the claim. <laughs> and that's not no defamation. That ain't libel, all right? I'm telling you right now. As straight as I can. And that will do it. 65 to 52. Elizabeth comes out on top here in game number two. We're going to see if we can get London Carson on the broadcast here. I mean, he did it all super, super impressive. You got this, baby. Come on. Go ahead. Don't I know you want this interview. Don't lie to me. Don't let me hog awesome. it on you. Nope, you got it. You're, uh, You've been here. I'm, I'm here just helping out. I'm filling in. But, Jack, to your point, an amazing game for him. You know, both squads, but 
you know, Elizabeth right now, seeing how they're playing at full speed, and that, I, I have no words. That's just amazing to see right now. It's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, and, and a team that, like we said, a little bit of a disappointing finish to the season last year with the talent that was on display today, they look like they're poised for a big one coming up this season. Uh, fellas, I just want to let you guys know, I said this game's going well above 40, and uh, some days I do my homework, some days I don't, but I was a straight-A student on that one. <laughs> Might be the last time that it happens, but uh, let me relish in it. And Camden Eastside is going to get another chance here today. This is not their last game. Unfortunately, they're going to have to take on Roselle Catholic, which will certainly be a test, but a good showing in this one. I'm excited to see them again. They'll be a little bit warmed up and they should provide a good matchup because they were tough, and they're not a team that's going to go away easy this year. Yeah, man, you never know. You cannot take it easy against them uh, for sure, even though they, they might be the underdogs of the matchups that they were going into today. I promise you this team is going to be making some waves, and you never know. I, I mean, they are in the position to make an upset if they play the way that they did towards the end of that game. So London Carson on his way over to talk to us. Elizabeth, a big 65 to 52 win. Coming up, the two teams on the floor warming up. Eagle Academy and St. Benedict's. This is a good one coming up next. New Jersey versus the Bronx. 32 points for London Carson. He did it all for the Minutemen. London Carson joining us on the broadcast booth. 32 points. 32 points in this one. First off, thank you for joining us. You know, college coaches watching this, watching you play this season, right. what would you want them to know about London Carson as a player and a person? I want them to know that I can do everything on the court. I feel like I can do everything. And I'm a, off the court, I'm an amazing person, but on the court, on the court I'm a dog. And that's what I, that's what I stand by. Uh, hey, man, you talked about it, uh, being a dog. You guys had a, a commanding lead towards the end there, but yet you're still on the ground scrapping for the ball, man. Talk about that dog mentality and what you're bringing to the game. Right. Um, our coaches, Coach Darrow, Coach Phil, they, they instilled that in us at Elizabeth, and I think that's going to take, like take me a long way. Last year, you guys had a great season. You didn't finish the way I think you would have liked to. Right. What kind of motivation does that give you coming into this year, and what are your expectations, your goals for this season? It gives me and my team. It gives me and my team an edge. Like it gives us the edge to be the best that we could be, and it just that's another thing that like instilled that dog in us because we know we weren't supposed to lose that that state championship game in the first round. We know we weren't. And now this year we're a, whole, a way better team, and we we want to show everybody that. That's why we came out here and um and show what we can do. And, man, talk about that team. I mean, we saw you and Cameron McRae all over the place in this one. You guys got a stud squad out there. Talk about this team chemistry and what's brewing down in Elizabeth. Our team chemistry is amazing. In class together, we always we help each other out. Uh, we do good in class. We, we talk to each other all the time off the court. And, like, that's a different that's a difference from, like, last year because everybody was new last year. So this year we're all gelling and we know each other a lot. So, you feel me? So. Well. London Carson, thank you very much for joining us here. That was a special performance. 32 points. College coaches, if you were watching, this is the guy right here. You're going to want to get on your radar. Jack Bartek, Brandon Rosso, John Edmond will be back. London Carson, thank you for joining us. Congrats on the win. We'll be right back here on All Abilities Live. All right, guys.